YouTube. Today I'm back with another video, and if you didn't, I'm guessing you read the title. This video features my M4. This beautiful monster. I'm joking, don't mind that. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna do a review on this thing because it's an epic gun, and I'm just gonna quickly put it down because I'm holding it with one hand, and it's a pretty chunky gun. So uh, I'm gonna put it down like that. Magic. Um, so it's got the working magazine release, bolt release, bolt catch, all that funny stuff, you know. I got a nice little variety of attachments for it, like a folding iron sight, like back one, but it folds. It has like a different, obviously a different like reticle size, but it's still the same. Like you'd flip the little dot and then you'll match it up with the front crosshair. And then I got this little red dot sight that I built. I can do a tutorial if you guys need or want, whatever. But I got this laser flashlight module. It's like right here is where the front iron sight would go between and the laser would be on one side, flashlight would be on the other side and the buttons for both of them are on the back. They don't work unfortunately, but I guess it wouldn't be that hard to make them. <laughs> and here's my foregrip. It's my angled one. It's also got a little hand stop on the front of it so you don't shoot your hand off for whatever reason you would. <laughs> but um, this one for is customly 100% designed. So cry about it, haters. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess we could start off by showing the bolt catch, so I'll show how that works, because that's kind of, uh, not complicated, but it's interesting. You gotta pull the bolt back to its maximum length, bolt being the charging handle is what I mean. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out the bolt catch, and just kind of let go of it, and then you can push back, the, push the charging handle forward. So now... Oh, the muzzle brake fell off. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. <laughs> you can see the, the chamber is clear, but the um, charging handle is forward. And all you got to do is the magic art of side slapping. See that audio? That's the chamber closing. It's ASMR. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's satisfying to put the magazine in and then do that because it's like an actual reload, you know. It's just a Stanag 556 NATO mag, fight, you know. It's not complicated, but three lines that it has like this, and then I don't know, maybe you can match it up in there. I wish it would not focus on the back one, instead, like the front one, which is actually what I want it to focus on. Because if it focuses on only the back one, you can only see like the back one. Oh, uh, yeah, will that focus? I'm trying to adjust it. Okay, never mind. My point is, you look through it like that. Um, it's got nice muzzle brake or muzzle. Muzzle, just muzzle, I guess. <laughs> it's got this nice little stock with a rubber band because I don't have a spring or anything. I don't actually have a spring at all, but, um, you got, like, the trigger and stuff. Like, the mag release, the bull catch, all that goofy thing. Just goofy. Um, and you could just drop the magazine. It's weak enough to drop if I release it, which is nice. So I could do flick reload if I wanted to, but I don't usually like sending my Lego magazines to the abyss. Um, I'm just trying to put the bolt catch, not bolt catch, muzzle brake back on. She designed this muzzle brake customly too. It looks like a muzzle brake. It is a muzzle brake. And it's got the little safety firing selector thing. They don't work, but they, they are there. It's got the moving little trigger, which doesn't do anything once again, but it's there. It's got the working magazine release, mind you. And I'm breaking the handle off. That's fun. Okay. Um, let me just push you back in like nothing happened because nothing did happen um we got the working magazine release this little button here i can't stop doing that we got the forward flush here which swings out it doesn't do anything but it's cosmetic and it is cosmetic thing i guess i see a lot of youtubers who make ars have like the slopes on the side like these actual slopes here but not only did I not use those, instead I used, like, these plates here. Because the real ones got, like, these smooth and plates. Also, because I did not have enough of these slow pieces, but somehow I had enough plate pieces to go on both sides. Um, there's a lot less on the right side, though, because there's a lot more things on the right side, like the dust cover, which flips up but doesn't work at all. It's not like when I pull back the thing, it doesn't open up. But it covers, like, it fits in perfect. Oh, that's, that's fine. I got the brass deflector here. And... Just a few other little things around the place. You got, like, the grip here, which has, like, the groove for your middle finger to go. And then you can, like, have your pinky get stumped by this little this little other groove down here. So you got three... Oh, I can't think. 
your two fingers here fit there, your middle finger fits in here, then your pointer finger fits here, but if you're trigger disciplined, you would know not to put your finger on the trigger until you are ready to shoot. Which, fortunately, I got myself a target over there. I take aim. Okay, it's not, it's not loading. Pow. Okay, actually, try again. That was a failure. I almost just dropped it there. There we go. Epic gunshot. <laughs> but that's actually pretty much all. Um, I'm not going to destroy this thing. Like I said, my Mac 10 I would. Because Mac 10 I care a lot less about than this thing. You do not understand how hard this M4 was to make. Um, yeah. I also should put some, some, some measurements and stuff on it. This thing. Oh, damn. It always breaks. I hate this magazine because it always breaks, but it's like the only curved thing I can think of besides my AK mag, but that was too curvy. Um, hehe, <laughs> curvy. <laughs> but this thing's uh over three feet. I'd say like four feet long. Okay, definitely not four feet. Um, like three feet, three feet, maybe two, almost three feet, around three feet feet long. Weighs close to ten pounds. Um, I just don't suspicious. You can hyper extend the stock. You can adjust it. It's got three different positions, like this being the shortest. Let me get there. That being the shortest position, the longest position being, I got this, this right here. I have it in the middle position. Then you can hyper extend it. It'll just take it off. And it looks odd. And then you have the stock here, which is a little D. And you can see like a little, okay, actually, it's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Um, Trying to adjust it to my, you can see like that little circle plate thingy in there. It moves up and down. And like that would make it so like it can lock up. It's actually a really easy mechanism. The stock's pretty nice too. You put it in your shoulder and it feels good. Especially when you're using it to fend off bad guys. I don't know. Can't think of any specific country we're fighting. Not Ukraine, first of all. Because we aren't fighting them. Sure as hell not fighting them. No, Russia is because Russia's stupid. I'm joking. No, um. Modifications are nice, but. Eh, I'll put them on, why not? <laughs> then I'm gonna hang up this video. But this is the foregrip, and that's backwards. I just realized that. You're in combat. Your foregrip's backwards. That'd be fun. Right, I'm gonna put my phone like this for a second, because I couldn't put the foregrip on with two hands. Um, you can just jam to Spotify or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Here's the foregrip. The little hand stuff. Hand stop. And here's a laser module, which can go right here. And like I said earlier, how the two little thingies go between the guard, like they do. You can see that's the front iron sight, and they go through. And then we got the red dot sight right here, which are these two conveniently placed plates right here. Number one, and number two somewhere. That is number two. You gotta just put the sight on. No. Actually, because if you put the sight on, this one, like, will obstruct the sight, so you have to take this off and put on the foldable iron sight. And then you have to fold down the iron sight, like that. And there you go. You have your... Oh, yeah, maybe you should put in the magazine. <laughs> put in the mag. There we go. You can't actually pull it out. Until you push a button. But, yeah, this is our heavily modified M4A1. Um, not A1, actually, it's just an M4. Heavily modified M4 American Assault Rifle. Now this thing probably weighs, like, close to 12 pounds with the insane amount of modifications I put on it. But then you can just push this button, pull up the magazine, you know, smooth. Close the dust cover to a signifi signify that it's clear. And you got it. Your M4A1. Or just M4. Looks pretty nice. You should probably subscribe get more videos like this. Yep, that's it. Um, see you later. <laughs>